Okay. I have no idea who this is. Neither does Norman. Neither does one person in this building. Maybe Sus does. Uh, do you know who Swavy is? Clap. Clap if you know who Swavy is. Okay. Sus? Not my, it's not my cup of tea <laughs> that I got going on right now. Well, he's a t Okay, so the first thing that I notice is that she comes in really aggressive, right? So making comments such as, I have no idea who this is, who is this? No one in the building even knows who he is, um, things like that. And just kind of saying Norman doesn't know who this is. So she comes in real hot and heavy. And I'm wondering why that is, right? I'm kind of curious as to why she's coming in so hot and heavy, why she's coming in in such a rude way, to be honest with you, very rude and disrespectful. And so I saw a lot of comments on Instagram about this not too long ago. And I didn't know what was going on. I, I, I was really confused because I, I don't watch Wendy on a regular basis. Every once in a while, I will see videos like on YouTube or Instagram, and that's about it. So I didn't know what other people were talking about. But you cannot go on any posts of Wendy's right now on Instagram and see any regular comments. All the comments are calling for Wendy to be canceled uh, and uh, long live Swaby. Those are the two comments you see over and over and over and over again from a lot of different people on Instagram right now. And so that prompted me to come look into what's going on? What did she do now? And so she's coming in real hot and heavy. I was hoping that I'd be able to come in, look into it and say something to the effect of, okay, you know, we can work with this. Maybe people should give her a little bit of slack, but I'm not able to do that as of right now because of how hot and heavy she came in already. And she's, I can already hear her start talking about followers. So let's see what she has to say. Uh, but um, it's not looking good as of right now. Well, he's a TikTok star. He's got more followers than me. 2.5 million. On TikTok, but on Instagram, you have more followers. <laughs> Well, as my son Kevin would say, no one uses Instagram anymore. What? And, and as, as far as TikTok, I don't use that at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I'm noticing is that... Um, you know, first of all, she said no one uses Instagram anymore. I'm confused by that because I use Instagram and I see people on Instagram every day. My friends use Instagram. So I don't know where she's getting that information from. But one of the things that sticks out to me is when she said, um, you know, in TikTok, I'm not on TikTok. I don't know what that is. And I'm not interested, basically. And so what this tells me, because of the language she's choosing to use, is that what's going on, what's most likely going on here, is that Wendy does not respect the younger generation. So um, that is probably where this is coming from. She doesn't respect the younger generation. She doesn't really think much of them. She feels like she's older and she probably feels like she grew up at a time or during a time that was better than what it is now uh, because of the younger generation. So I'm, I'm feeling like that's a lot of where this is coming from because of her tone and the words that she's choosing to use. Uh, because everyone knows that TikTok, and that's where most of the younger generation resides at this point in time. Um, but same thing with Instagram. I don't know where she's getting that no, not, no one uses Instagram anymore. That's, I think that's why Norman was like, what? You know, because I was kind of like confused about that. Second thing that I'm noticing is that I'm confused as to why she's, what, why is this the first thing that she, one of the first things, or if anything, 
uh, a part of what she's talking about is her following on Instagram versus this uh, this young man's uh, following. Uh, I don't understand. You have here. You have a young man that has passed away um, not too long ago, and all you can talk about is his following and. All you can do is compare yourself to him as far as following goes. Like, are you jealous? I'm confused as to how someone could be so um, rude and just so incapable of sympathy and empathy. And so with that being said, I can see why so many people are upset. And Wendy knows that you can't say the same things that maybe you would have been able to say 10 years ago and you might have been fine. She knows that this is a different generation. And so I, I'm confused as to why she feels like that that she's above that or something. I don't I don't really know uh, why why she would do that. Another thing that I wanted to point out, and I don't know if you uh, if you all noticed this, but the picture that she chose for this young man. It's very sad because here lately for a while now, it's been a hot topic of conversation as far as racism, especially within the United States uh, and systematic racism here within the United States. And one of the things that the media does and the news outlets do when it comes to black people is they will choose very unflattering pictures of them and post it right there on TV, national television, and for everyone to see while talking about whoever it is, the, the whoever the, the the black person is that they're talking about. And when it comes to like Caucasians or uh, when it comes to Caucasians, they pick like the best pictures. They edit that picture and everything. Like the the the, the person is smiling, you know. And so that is a huge part of systematic racism. And I see that she's doing that here, which is really sad because Wendy is black, I think, from what it looks like. And for her to not pick a picture where people can remember uh, better remember happy things about this child that has recently passed away is on purpose. It has to be, right? Look at the picture that she chose. She's wanting to make him look like a gangster. She's wanting to make him look like a thug. And I don't understand why. I'm like, what did this child ever do to you? I Did, they, did you have a secret interaction with him? I, you know, I just don't understand why. I think if I had to go based on her tone, the words she's using, body language, I would say it's because she just doesn't respect the younger generation and this is it coming out, slipping out, if you might say. And so she's a part of the problem. We're fighting systematic racism right now. And this is a, an example of, of who, who she is a primary example of the problem that we have here in the U.S. So it even goes beyond just this topic and the story, right? What we're seeing here is systematic racism play out right in front of us. And it's very, very sad. You know, Wendy, I don't know if you're doing therapy, but I would recommend therapy for you for sure, because I'm not understanding. This is, this is just crazy. I don't even know what else to say. It's just nuts. Let's see if she, I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> so here he is. He's 19 and he was murdered Monday morning. Now, according to our friends at mediatakeout.com, hi Fred, the killer confessed on Instagram Live. He said that Swavy invited him out and alleges that Swavy and the friends that were with Swavy jumped him and tried to kill him. So he had a gun and did the killing. So, somebody's dead. Um, the guy who was invited over, he's dead. 
Swavy is yeah dead. Swavy is now dead. Correct. Oh, mm. all those Imagine. followers. Yeah, that's really tragic. Only nineteen years old. And by the way, the um the friend who came over was an admitted drug dealer. No one in custody. They'll probably never catch anyone. The thing that about her is because she is a part of a bigger problem. She's a part of systematic racism. She's a part of racism in general. And um, her lack of empathy, especially in this situation, makes no sense. And even if you're not empathetic, it stands to reason that at the very least you want to be respectful. This is someone that, like you said, has a large following and there's going to be a lot of people that are hurt by his passing away. So what gives you the right to uh, undermine that? You know what I mean? So there's just a lot of things wrong with this. And um, the way that she's portraying this child in the picture, I don't like that. I'm not feeling her saying, oh, who was it again who died? Like someone died. You've been, you mean to tell me like, the two minutes in, you've been talking about this child this whole time, and you didn't know that he was the one that hit, that died. I don't understand. Like, I, I, like if you don't know about the story, then don't cover it, Wendy. Like, if you're not going to care enough to find out that what happened, which is your job, then just don't cover it. Then you don't have the right to speak on it. And so now this is a huge thing. This is blown up. I'm interested to see what is going to happen, what's going to come as a result of this. Um, so we shall see. But I do think that it's time for her to go. I don't know if she'll go. I would be surprised if she goes because she doesn't seem like the type of individual that would want to go uh, because, of, because of this, uh, just because like she seems like really prideful and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see if we get an apology. We'll see if she even says anything or addresses it. Uh, but it's a very sad moment for me. I'm very disappointed because typically I'm not that harsh on Wendy. But, um, you know, I was hoping I could come on here and say, okay, everyone calm down. It's not that bad. But I can't do that because it is pretty bad. Um, it, it's, it's a pretty big deal. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. Subscribe like the video for the YouTube algorithm. And thanks for joining me for another video. Bye.